Hello and welcome everyone to another episode. Yes, so um, I've decided to do another video on this and this is going to be kind of uh, a little bit of a more informative video on how to construct these big mega ships and how to dock up the pieces. Uh, well, I shouldn't say dock up, but how to get them perfectly. And this is going to kind of go down a little bit weird, but uh, you guys will understand it hopefully by the end, um, at least a little bit. There we go. So, um, anyways, I gotta show you guys. I'm, I'm basically gonna show you guys how to do these things yourself. Um, it's a little bit complicated, I do say, and it does kind of cause a little bit of problems, but you'll end up figuring it out at the end, hopefully, and you'll be able to go on and build some pretty nice stiffs. Um, for me, uh, to learn how to do this took me a long time to really figure this out. So, I, you know, for me, I mean, if you guys want to copy this exact same design and you kind of use the same thing yourself, go ahead. Um, for me, I'm going to, you know, I, I'm going to try to do my best here um, as far as describing and explaining exactly how to do these things and, and exactly how to build you know to get these things perfect every time now when it comes down to it you need to design your like the main center of your craft and basically how you want to have things so I want to we're structural there we go and I'll flip this over here we yeah no I don't have to flip that whatever but this is hopefully going to help you guys out a little bit as far as when you guys are going to start constructing your own stuff and how it's going to work and everything else just to really kind of blow some of the smoke off of you know exactly how to do these things because it really isn't that hard what it really comes down to is just setting it up correctly and it, as long as it's set up like pretty much cor like 100% correctly you really won't have any problems but it, it once again it's somewhat complicated so because this game really doesn't allow you to like you can have stuff like this but you can see these parts aren't actually connected so that is kind of the main goal with this is we need these parts to be connected in some kind of way so this is these main struts here are a little bit too low bring them down a little bit and that should solve that so then what we do is just basically line them up the best you can like that and that will give you kind of a good baseline as far as where these need to be so hopefully what they're doing is actually connecting to these lower pieces here and I'm just gonna let's see hopefully oh nope not connected not at all so another good way to do it too and this works just as good is if you take this off I'll bring it down um, please let me attach it whoa um, extremely extremely low frame rate something is going on here that it doesn't like um, yeah wow that was pretty uh, nasty I do say so um we'll bring this up can we get what I wanted please it no it's just not gonna do it it, it doesn't like my idea so I'll just go over here then and bring this up attach oh yeah it's not gonna attach cuz I'm an idiot so let's just bring this over yeah but do this blah, blah, blah. there we go perfect um, now it should be fine. Uh, this is the other way that you can do it. And basically, you just take these pieces and line them up underneath and get them as close as you possibly can without them clipping. Now, I really wish this would be the one part in the game that I really wish it wouldn't allow you to clip it because then it would make things a little bit easier but you can keep moving in a little bit so you can line things up almost like perfectly so you spring that up and as you can see it's like right on the spot almost and I think I just actually de 
attached. No, I didn't. Well, whatever, I just screwed it up. So, but, yeah, let me just try that one more time. But you can basically just zoom in, and you just lock them up like that perfectly. And it should stay perfectly, you know, I mean, it shouldn't be... You know, once you get into space, once again, once, like, the real physics are, like, actually at play on this thing, it might screw things up a little bit, but, um, this is kind of, like, almost a guaranteed it's gonna work once you launch it kind of thing. Um, I've encountered problems here and there, but, you know, it, you always, when you're building stuff like this, you're always, that, like, that's the one thing I'm really gonna tell you guys right now. You are always going to have problems with it. It's never just going to launch flawlessly. Um, you're going to find something that you don't like, something that doesn't work, or whatever. And it's always something that is something you overlooked, and you were like, okay, well, I don't need this. But in, in reality, it's just a lot of really stupid little things that you end up forgetting about and not understanding or just not knowing the physics of the game or not knowing just something in general that that you should have just not overlooked so let's get this uh, center done um, the can what is it it would be the chocolate and then the the orange tinks would be the candy coating or something like that yeah I guess if you want to call them candy oh yeah put that there Thank God for this. There we go. Let's bring this down. Just get two more tanks down. That's looking good. And so we got a little bit of a gap here. And now I... This is the kind of stuff I suggest you do. Um, to kind of fill in the gap. Figure out a way... I should put this back on top here. So, yeah. Now we got to figure out a way to kind of just fill out the gap. And with this, I would say the best way to fill out the gap is to actually, you know, find something you might need, something you want. There we go. See, like, that kind of works, so you could put that there, I guess. Um, let's see what else. I mean, I could put a docking port on it and kind of call it a day as it is right now. I think I'll probably do that. Let's see, where's our docking ports? Um, I'm in the wrong menu, like I always am. So, we'll just slap these on, and it will keep all its symmetry, too. You don't have to worry about the symmetry at all. I'm not going to go as far as putting docking ports on it. I want to make, I want to just kind of make this a little bit of a shorter video. Um, but, you know, one thing you got to remember, too, is you got to put in your satellite core, because obviously you're going to be controlling this thing. I mean, if you really want to, you don't have to put in the satellite core, but you can if you want. I'm not going to go as far as adding all the other small details like I did in the other one. And, you know, this is kind of like my main piece right here. So, but what you should be able to do once you're done is basically pull it from the center and pull this whole part away. So that that's the main point of this. Because then what you can do after this is I'll be able to take this main part and, let's see, I can pull it away right here and put this down and basically take this part here I'll put this off to the side because I might end up doing some more stuff off camera take this put it over here and you should be able to take this main part here and just connect it up and let's see just slap on a docking port and call it a day and that will be like your second part and I don't know why my frame rate is really really funky right now but you know I'm not gonna put on all, all the struts and stuff so this is kind of the trick I use in order to build these really big structures and really just add on to anything you know and it, like with the space station as well I mean I kinda did the same thing but it was a little bit of a difference you know, I kind of set up the modules first on what I needed, what I wanted, what how I wanted it to look, and then put it into testing to see how I would do it. So, 
But anyways, guys, um, thank you for watching. I know this isn't the longest episode. I'm going to be launching this thing, and we're going to have more fuel and more fuel tanks in, on this one craft than I actually have on all of my stations, which I think setting up the fuel network will be my next kind of thing that we're going to be doing. So anyways, guys, thank you for watching. If you like what you see here, subscribe. There's always more to come, and yeah, I will see you next time.